Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It is Lazy Shen. Once again. Back again with AI the Somnium Files. Hey, good to see you. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you, good to see you. It's been a hot second, and by that I mean only about three days ish since the last episode, episode eight. This will be episode nine. Last time, we pretty much hit the point of like not understanding anything, but having like pretty much all the clues in front of us. I feel. I feel like we're missing just maybe like one or two like key points. This is the point in the Uchikoshi game in where like you feel like there's just one more thing that you need in order to solve everything because at this point in time there is just like one thing that's out of place that you can't explain. And last time we left off, it was the fact that we learned more about what I assume to be uh, our main character, uh, Date's past life, was, but I can't explain how it worked out, you know? Because there were two characters there, and then we saw it all in his Somnium. But it doesn't explain, you know, like, who is who in that situation. There's, there's some identity crisis issues that we have, as long as, as well as like all these left eye murders that happened like six years ago, and now they're resurfacing again. I, I feel like maybe the killer from six years ago is back, and now, uh, you know, on his stuff again. But let's find out, guys. Let, without further ado, without dilly-dallying any more than we need to, let's uh, load the game from the next, from where we are. Let me turn on the sound just a little smidge. And last we saved, which was day four, uh, Sunday, sorry, day four Monday, Sir AI, Talent Agency Lemon Escape. We're on our way to go see, I think, Iris. <laughs> and she's very mad. We just found a way to revive her. After time with the boss, we left. We saw Renju's like weird pass with thugs. Skated over to So's house, found out. Yeah, this is the thing. We had like this image of when she was young, and we found out that we dated like her mom when she was young. When sorry, when Iris was young, and so we have this memory. But that makes us the black-haired guy. But then that doesn't make any sense because uh, whatever. Regardless, something isn't adding up here. As well as the fact that Iris had died, and now she's back alive. Which is uh, strange and bizarre to me. I wonder if she still has those scars and she's like hiding it now. I wonder how she lived that, uh, you know, altercation. We'll find out now. She's a little bit mad at us because we missed out on our Shovel Forge promise to play Minecraft with her. I saw your body. That's not a good way to open it off. Okay, let's, let's start with something light, you know? Like, why was your phone off yesterday? But before that, let's go and head and assault the room as long, uh, along with this uh, assistant. <laughs> I want to know your measurements. Look at this lady. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Okay, th there's, no, there's no new dialogue there. That's the receptionist's desk. A plant. Dante, look! Is this going to be like something like, oh, this is a secret agent plant? It's a terraphila camelifolia! Look! Is it actually Terraphila uh, Camifolia? I don't think so. Yay! Yeah, go Terraphila Camifolia! <laughs> I'm gets awfully excited about insects. Oh, it's like the the insect on the plant. There's an abstract painting hung up. I know, like a lot of plants like also. Excuse me, I was talking here. A lot of insect uh, plants also have like those kinds of like really intricate names. It's called Fisherman Shagging a Common Dandy. It's called Fisherman Shagging a Common Dandy. Where's the fisherman and where's the sha shagging? Huh. I don't think so. I don't think it's any fisherman. Nice try, though. Company logo, Lemon Escape. Infinity symbol, cool. Anything else of interest here? I should lose some weight. I <laughs> see myself in the reflection. I didn't say so fat. I said so far. Ah, I said so far. It's a it's a monitor. Nothing's displayed on it. Lots of magazines in the rack. 
Special, how to make good soba. I'll bring this one home for later. It's tea fit. Yeah, nice. Tate, I don't understand. It's a high table. You want me to say hi to this table? <laughs> this is this is just proving that Iris is my daughter, you know? That's not what I said. High table. It's a high table. Vending machine. Full of drinks. Monitor. It's Shinsen Chatran. Shinsen, dude, uh, the Shinsen Gumi will live on forever. Who is that? She's like a VTuber. Shinsen Tetran. Okay. It's cool. Let's let's talk to let's talk to the receptionist first, because I feel like if we talk to Iris, we might not get a chance to ask the receptionist about her measurements. Um, I'm five four. Okay, so she's five four. That's that like above average. Not what you meant. That's like average height for like. Is it average height for? A woman in Japan? She's a foreigner. Well, she's dyed her hair? I can't really tell. I don't know where Renju is. I want to, too. I want to, too. We've been looking for him. We've been getting <sighs> been... so many calls, it's hard to keep up with. You're not looking hard enough, it seems. Look harder, receptionist. What's your type? Type O? Wow. Okay. Let's guess. She is kind of like an airhead. Um, she speaks uh, rudely to me as a receptionist. Uh, she doesn't isn't on top of her job. It's hard to say, you know. <laughs> this is gonna be a blood type question, right? I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. Oh, actually, she just gave me a real answer, huh? I cannot even picture that. No jaw, righteous. Um, why? Can I get your number? Well, because it may lead to something in the future. Hmm, I don't know. Why is wait, Why is her voice so loud and like Date's voice so quiet? Date, we're on an investigation. Just let me have this. Just let me have this, please. Okay, let's try again. That's enough. I'll come okay. right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. Fuck. Pop out then, I'm pop serious. out. I'm going to pop out. Pop out then, do it. Do it, pop out. <laughs> I flew out of my left eye and started dancing on the desk. The receptionist immediately fainted. I saw the whole thing and also fainted, and so my story ended. The end. Wait, what? But I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to answer for her information. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought I was gonna game over there. Okay, cool. Where's Renju? What about him? I don't need to hide it. I told you about Renju's dis disappearance. A traffic accident? I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. She's so soft-spoken right now. Do you know So Sejima, the politician? I've seen him on TV. Ever Me met too. Him? No. Not at all. I've met him, though. No, not at all. Hmm. Interesting. How's the day off? Off? Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah. It's a holiday. Did she not know? So I decided to come to Lemnus Gate. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. That's not a day off. That's work. I know you were mad about our date, but why was your phone off? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... Okay, here, here we go. Dr 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 grill her right now. She's not going to say? Well, then I visit her. Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? Who was you, you gotta tell me. And you left the house as well. Where did you go? You have to tell you me, really Iris. You really want to know? Yes. Yes. And you'd do anything <laughs> for the answer. Yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> no way, dude. Uh, am I? Am I just Dante? Can you just replace him with me? All right, then. Shovel Forge. Fine. No. Then go on a date with me. Well, th those are the same thing. Again, no. Uh, but you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Objection. Objection? Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. Ugh, this girl. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Dude, there's no way this is real. Oh, what is the timestamp for this? 10 minutes? I gotta come back in the 10. Okay, after the recording. Oh, that is so good. 
I saw your body. Iris, I promise you won't laugh. I saw something at the cold storage warehouse last night. What? Your dead body. <laughs> I saw you, you. You said you wouldn't. Wait, actually, she, she didn't promise anything. I told you not to laugh. But come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. What about, what about dying very soon? Look, I can jump around. Woohoo! Stop. I'm serious. <laughs> she clapped. In my dream, I saved you from being killed. The receptionist clapped at that shit. And here you are. That is so funny. Which is why I was like that when I went to your house yesterday. Sorry. There's no point in telling you all this. The receptionist no, is it's all here. Mine. Sorry okay. for laughing. No, you're not. I just didn't know what was up with you. Huh? I believe you, Date. Maybe you? we're in a parallel world or something. Another bizarre explanation. Yeah, I agree. Summarize for me. So, what are we doing? We're playing what do you mean? Shovel Forge, right? For our date, of course. Oh, that's not summarizing. Go on a date, don't go on a date. I, I don't know. Either one could be bad. This is a the split in the path, right? Hold on, let's see. Let's let's say let's let's humor her. Cause if we do, right? If we do go on a date, then she'll tell me shit, and that could be crucial information. If we know who she was with last night, and why her phone was off, this could be good. She, she there's no way. There's no way she. Let's save. There's no way she lets me down here, right? Because I'm Konami Date, the main character, and I have some plot armor, and I gotta check to see if this flowchart will diverge paths right here. What the fuck is this? She gets kidnapped at this... I shouldn't have looked at this, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's go on a date then, guys, shall we? Let's, let's get her kidnapped, yeah? Fine. Fine. Hey, wait a minute! So you'll play Shovel Forge with me? I will not. So we'll go on a date then. Ah, <sighs> yes. Deal. Why does she want to go on a date with me so bad? I'm like not. I'm, I'm like Dante is hot, but like you know. And you have to honor our agreement this time. I can't believe it. She's a little it. pushy, you know. Oh, but we can't go right away. She's recording. I have a recording coming up. Yeah. I should be done by three though. Tessa, we're starting soon. Got oh, that's it. right, Tessa is her name. So, Date, meet me back here at three? Fine. If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. Anyway, she's gonna be now. so peace. aggro. <laughs> okay, peace. Iris smiled and rolled, uh, strolled over to the studio. There is no point remaining here. Let's get moving. I'm sorry, Iba. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sorry. I feel like either way, we probably would have been railroaded into, like, you know, getting her on a date anyway. Like, even if we said no, I'm pretty sure, like, it would have been the same outcome. So I don't think it matters too much. Either which way. What at the cold storage. Okay, let's see. L let me just check something really quickly before we go. Check the cold storage. Yeah, we're, we're, we're seemingly still on the same pathway, so it doesn't really matter. I think there was no there was no split in the road there. I can see my breath. I look down, shivering. Nothing seemed changed from last night, though. Okay, everything is still in its place. There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. But it's still a cold storage box. It's a box. wooden box. There is nothing inside. There's nothing inside the wooden box? An empty wooden box on the shelf. The storage isn't in use. There's a cardboard box on the floor. There's nothing in it. Okay, storage is in use. The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. Hmm. Nothing has changed. The crane on the ceiling. A forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. It's really foggy in here, though. There's a circular saw. That machine is used to cut ice. This is- you could totally kill someone with that. Do they store ice here? An ice cutting machine. A fork. It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. Mm -hmm. There Shells are numerous boxes. cardboard boxes on the shelves. There is nothing abnormal about them. Okay, just a lot of not abnormal stuff, huh? A forklift. 
times with the forklift in the ground, they're all, uh, they're clearly frozen. So this one was left here for a while, and this one might have been moved recently. So the t we totally could have used a forklift, or they could have used a forklift to bring a her switchboard. in. A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Or bring her out. But how does she live after being frozen solid? That's my my issue here. Do we? I don't believe we switch timelines. This doesn't seem like this kind of game. You first arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. At that time, lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body, covered with a white cloth. But the second time... The corpse was gone. It was 11.25 p.m. Why is, why is Dante so quiet here? But the body could not have simply vanished. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. Huh. When did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m. After we finished sinking with So. It took them an hour and a half to get here? That's way too long. Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. The report does not specify. There, there's something wrong here. There is something very wrong here. Perhaps a result of outside influence. Outside influence? Mm-hmm. It, sh it never takes the... Like, at most, like, 10, 20 minutes. Even on a bad day, 30 at most. Because, the, the, like, that's how police stations are, you know, like, stationed, like, created. So that everything is in range of each other. Right? Huh. In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. Examining it will not reveal any further information. Yeah, no residue, huh? They were thorough. We didn't find anything useful nothing. in the warehouse. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. I mean, I agree, though. The fact that there is nothing... Hmm. Let's get going. Date, your temperature is dropping. At this rate, they might find your body in here. Yeah. I figured. Let's leave. Back to Abyss. Let's get, uh, let's get her kidnapped, it seems. Okay, so lesson learned. Don't look at the flip chart. <laughs> Unless you want to get spoiled. Like, for the next five minutes. I had to talk to the boss. As I entered the room, the boss smiled. She was waiting for me. I took care of what you asked for. What did I ask for? Number 89? Number 89. He's here, in the interrogation room. Nice, perfect. I'm on it. Let's You'll nail it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. One of the All higher right, ups 89. needs me. I'll have Pewter go Let's to the interrogation with you. Understood. Me and you, dumbass. Wait. N no. Huh? N no. No, wait. Hold the fucking phone. I thought that was me. Wait, it's not me? Is that how? Huh? Wait, this is... This is me. This was me. I thought this was me the Let's whole time. Let's get started. She knows something. He's, his heart is beating. Oh, shit. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, I'm here. He's here. Table. A desk in the middle of the room. Camera. Camera used for interrogation. Where's Pewter? Pipe. Pipe's in the walls. Surveillance camera near. Pewter's not here no more. Just me and him, it seems. Let's get the show on the road. Me. Wait, is this not me? I could have sworn that, like, because it, it was him in all the flashbacks, right? He's... He's the one in the picture. He's the one that's, like, you know, taking care of Hitomi and Iris when they were young. He's... But, but I have the memories, so, so that would make him me. So... So how is he here? Because he can't be me, and I'm me. What? What's your... Fucking... Give, give me a name. Give me a name. Number 89. No, not number 89. Your real name. I don't know. I forgot. Oh, his voice is nice. His voice is nice and deep and growly. I can see how he told me he fell for this guy. Oh, you know about that. It's true. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. Yeah. What did you tell him? I told him to call somebody. 
Somebody. Shoko Nadami. I can't tell you anymore. <sighs> Where are you from? Djibouti. Djibouti? Djib... Northeast Africa. A oh, small republic fuck? of roughly 900,000. I don't I think gonna, I was gonna say. stupid lies. He, he might seriously be from Djibouti, you know? You never know. I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. That's true. But she goes murder. All right. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. Dude, his... Ooh, I, I, I don't know. Like, he's... They really brought out his, like, nice... The color of his voice is so nice, dude. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Yes, I pr I promise. Yes. You're lying. <laughs> You're lying. It's the guy who voices uh, Mike Guy from Naruto. You don't want to release me. Actually, is it the guy? F Wait, hold on. Uh, no, it's not. This is uh, oh, this is DC Douglas. This That's is, fine. This is DC I was expecting Douglas. this anyway. This is uh, the guy who does Azrael from uh, Blaze Blue. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Why did his voice get so quiet there? Here's what I mean! Oh, what the fuck? He's gonna attack me? Oh my god. Oh my god! Wait, Pewter's just gonna stand there and let that happen? You'll make a good hostage for me. Oh my god. Take me to the exit. Now. Wait a second, what? P Pewter? Oh my god. I let this killer off the on the loose? Aren't those tables usually bolted down to the floor so that can't happen? Am I stupid? D do they not have, like, bolted down tables in this futuristic world? Oh, darn. Are you kidding me? A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. Yeah, I, also like no guards like outside the door. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. We need to get number 89 back before then. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it, dude. Ah, oh, shit. Apologize or don't apologize? <laughs> no. I'm not gonna say Don't shit. Don't you have something to say? My bad, sorry. I know an apology isn't gonna fix it, but I know I'm responsible for this. I'll get him. Well then, good luck. Yeah, yeah. Boss in the desk. She has a computer, that type of built-in. I, I assume, I assume no, like, funny quips now. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no funny quips. I want to knock you over the head with that snowboard oh. right about now. <laughs> and allow me to say this, I will slalom away from that attack. Not funny. Slalom away from that attack with the skis. Okay, cool. Yeah, seems like she's not really in a chatting fun mood. <laughs> that, that thing seems to... Boss, I okay. turned your stationary bike into a coffee grinder. Right you now? the pedals to grind the beans. Why the hell did you do that? This is the time to tell me that. They I were see. kind and had a big smile. Such a shame. A floaty? The fuck? So there are things we can talk about here. I, th I was just clicking through because I thought there was nothing, but I, I guess there is something. Okay. Wait a minute. Did you let number 89 escape on purpose? So that you could catch the bigger fish? No, it's... Yeah, boss. Exactly. I was kidding. <laughs> Mario, tell me here, Mario. I want to go to Susukino. Susukino? Balls? Spiking is an important part of volleyball. Hmm. Spiking. Spike? Spike, Spike Chunsoft. Spike Chun? What is that? <laughs> Spike Chunsoft? Name the company? If you're just standing calmly. He's, he's very calm for someone who just held a gunpoint and, like, forced to let the enemy go. That's how I feel right now. I feel like the tombstone. Okay, let's go. How'd you get away? He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. He put on the uniform and brought me with him. 
At gunpoint? Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. I suppose the whole escape yeah, took I him mean... about... Uh, Five minutes. Damn, that was pretty fast. He must have planned this. You're rather calm about all this. I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. I'm in a bit of a fugue state. Right <laughs> I'm now. in a bit of a fugue state. I was in a fugue state. Where's my gun? Number 89 still has it. But don't worry. I have a spare. I'll give it to you later. Okay, cool. How about now? Where's 89? Where'd he How go? How would I know? After he got to the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I collapsed right there. Why is he doing this to me? Peter, Dante, why are you like this? I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. I checked all of them. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. So th this was all planned then? So he had an accomplice? Yes. Did you see who was driving? I did. Who was it? You and I know him well. It's so, it's so Sejima. Renju? Oh, Renju. Even worse! That's even worse, dude. Wait, why is he working with Renju? Renju? Is this some criminal shit again? This whole Boston kid what Iva revealed to me. Renju? W why? Oh, shit. Renju. Dante, Moma is home. Moma? From the Kumaku. I'll connect him. Hey, Dante. I just got the word. Renju's been seen. What? Where? No, thank, dude. Thank God for Moma. Uh, Moma, I'm gonna get you this. I'm gonna get you this Iris sighting. Hey, don't forget our deal. Deal? What deal? You forgot already? <laughs> I'm talking about Tessa. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. You know what to do. <laughs> what Shit. should we do? Shit. We have no choice. We have to take her. Yeah. To Moma? Yes. We, we, this will this will be a cute date activity, you know. Go t inside a yakuza base, never before seen. Okay, we, we gotta trade um, an iris sighting for. Oh my gosh! Late, 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 late. You're late. <laughs> yeah. How, how late am I? By like thirty minutes. I'm going home. Never. Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? Are you drunk? We exchange vows? Like a wedding? No, of course not. She's not drunk, she's just acting. You're drunk. I kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding! I can't believe I'm gonna shovel forge with you. I'm getting excited! We are not <laughs> shovel forging. We're not shovel forging. I was talking about the dates. Shovel forge and a date are synonymous. They're not apparently. synonymous, not every date's a Minecraft. So where are we going? Where should I take her? She's gonna take her to a gangster bar. A really nice place to where the dragon is. To meet the dragon. The dragon? Like that dragon? The yeah. bad dragon. Oh, like a fantasy world with swords and magic. And you're gonna teleport me there. What? Woohoo! I'm getting fired That's up! That's not what I said. She didn't completely understand, but I didn't have time to, t to care. I took Iris to the Kumakuras. I'm sorry, Iris. I duped you again for my own benefit. Took me an hour to get there, it seems. Ooh, look at the dragon! So cool! There's... Uh, the, you're welcome, Moma. So... This is a crime syndicate building, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, the Kumakuras. And you were trying to make me believe this was some kind of fantasy world? I didn't say sh It is a fantasy world. It's out of your world. No, that's what you thought. Wow, Dante lied to me. Dante, you bastard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Moma. I'm sorry. You made Tessa cry. <laughs> I love, I love Moma, guys. I don't know. M Mister, save me. Throw this man into Tokyo Bay. Okay, hold on a big darn diddly second. Got it. I'll have him sleeping with the fishes. This is an interesting turn of events. I can hardly believe it. Hold your hold your sausage, okay? Mama, I held up my end of the deal. You sure did. You want to hear about Renju? Mr. Okiura? <laughs> oh shit, that's right. I love the music in here. It's very it's very Hotel California-esque. Plan 
lanterns. Lanterns. Hey, Iris. What do you think of when you see two lanterns pushed together? Two lanterns pushed together? Huh? I mean, it kind of looks like something, right? Uh, not really. I, I don't think so either. No, no, really. Picture two lanterns pushed together, and you put your face between them. Okay, so like you're gonna motorboat them? There's something that reminds you of? Lantern. Why, you mean boobs? Damn it, MoMA. You're not supposed to say it. <laughs> why, why, you mean boobs? <laughs> I love MoMA, dude. I don't know, guys. MoMA's really growing on me. The window, shelves, locker. Uh, where are the Momo dudes? A tiger run. Poor thing! What you did to that tiger is awful! It's fake. Oh, that's fake. <laughs> uh, otherwise, Peter would be here. Tiger rug. How many cows did they kill for this? Three. Uh, it's a fake? It's all, it's all fake, guys. Restaurants will take forever to fill your bottomless orders, so order them all up front. That's a weird philosophy. Some kind of permit? Last month's schedule's been on the board. Th 23rd Hot Springs Sommelier Exam. The Hot Springs Sommelier Exam? Hey Tessa, let's have a party! No thanks. Thank God. Computer, PC desk. Sincerely apologize. Sorry for bringing you here. It's okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. He's a big fan. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. We're not thugs, we're just a gang. About as contradictory as meatless beef. The old boss was really violent. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him. Yeah, where is this guy? But after I took over, we went crystal clean. I don't crystal. know. If, I don't know if clean, dude. crystal meth, dude. Breaking Bad. Methamphetamines. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't do drugs. We don't deal with that stuff. We had to restructure the whole operation. Tight, Cut tight, a tight, lot tight, of tight. Off. Cut their throats. No, not like that. He's a nice guy. Introduce oh. Moma. Oh yeah, I haven't introduced this old man yet. I'm 24. You're 24. Bro, you look like you're like 70 at best. On a Mola good day. Is lying. He is at least oh, thank eight. God. Absolutely. Sorry for not introducing myself. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising, advertising agency. agency. I see, yeah. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. Uh, how did you know that? Is he stupid? <laughs> okay, introduce oh. Moma again. Moma may not look it, but he's a huge ASET fan. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. You have a figurine in the, the safe behind you. Gambling. Bet, debt, ASAT! Worries. Uh, forget, fret, ASAT! Now what does she say? ASAT, you bet! Wow, my catchphrase! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> this, this is kind of embarrassing. But sorry, MoMA. I don't like gangsters. I don't like Ooh. gangsters. It's time to change your ways, MoMA. I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. <laughs> All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? Yep, totally. Barenju. What happened to Mr. Okiu? I heard he escaped the hospital. So yeah. did I, but I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. Okay, let's see. Renju escaped from the hospital is strange. Three things stuck out to me. I laid out the facts. Mizuki was lured to the place where Shogo's body was found by message from, sent from Renju's phone. I found Iris's body in Okira Fisheries cold storage warehouse. Earlier today, Renju fled with a prisoner escaping a life sentence, an assassin named 89. Hold up. What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? Oh shit. Oh. Well. Dante saw a parallel world with my dead body in it. A parallel world? Never heard of it? Oh, yeah. yeah of like course I have. I, I have reading Steiner, you know? Yeah, yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that shit. I don't understand it, but I... Good, because I don't feel like explaining it. But why would Mr. Okira do that? I don't know. I don't know. He could be a fuck. hostage or an accomplice. Dude, ah, oh fuck, dude, the, if, the, if I had a dollar for every time Dante and I said the exact same shit at the exact same time, I'd have at least like $12 by now, mm. which is 
uh, very, very concerning. Either way, I need to find him. Okay, cool. The chairman's desk. Dessa, if you're tired, you can sit on my desk. So you can put like a ass cheek print on your desk. Okay, cool. Phone. Talk to Moma here about Renju's tip. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Where was yeah, he? I had all my people looking for him. So tell me where he is. Mm, I could. Hey, I held up my end. I brought Iris like you asked. Yep. Dante, come here. Oh god, it's gonna be like Moma, you know, asks his A said to do some shit for him, right? Took me to the corner of the room. Dante, I don't quite know how to ask this, but can okay. you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? Oh god, oh, that's really? It? That's it? Sure. Okay, it's to sick. Moma and I broke our huddle. That's it? Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? He uh he wants to see your boobs. What the fuck, dude? I didn't say that! Oh, sorry. What I meant was, he wants to shake your hand. Oh, a handshake. Sure! I would never show my boobs. Darius <laughs> <laughs> took Moma's hand and gently shook it. Dante, this is the happiest day of my life. It feels good to be the boss. So how about it? All right, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. Dude, he's he's hyped as all hell, dude. First, Sunfish Pocket, the maid cafe. So he was at Sunfish Pocket. Second, Ikume Shrine. And he was also at the shrine? That's where the the killer, wait, me? Who, whoever it was, was the, I don't know who I am anymore. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Got it, thanks. No problem, bro, really. No, thank you, bro. Really. Expensive looking ring. Why do you care? Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to <laughs> can you? Can I have the ring? Hey, can I have the ring? Absolutely, of course you can. Here, take it. Wait, 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 wait. no. I, I can't give you this. <laughs> you're so cheap. Come on, it's not like you're losing it. It's exactly like I'm losing it. It is like you're losing it. <laughs> Aww. We you try guys to, are a good team. We try to double team him, yeah. Fuck. Like siblings. Ugh. So, where are the goons? They're out looking for Renju. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Good point. They're all out, yeah. Summarize for me. Anyway, Moma, take care of Iris. What? What? Wait! You're leaving me here? Well, I have to. You'll be safe with him. <laughs> Are you serious? Look at his face! Not to mention he runs a crime syndicate. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? Tessa, I would never do that! I told you, we're clean now. We all go home on time, we follow government regulations. That's the best kind of Yakuza. See ya. Wait! What about Shovel Forge? I told you I never promised to play with you. But you promised me a date! D Date! Is this true? You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh shit, I'm leaving. See ya. Oh, he's gonna pull a gun on me? Oh my god, that's a right, that's a, that's a, okay. Hold I'll on. Good idea. Date, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Take me with you. If you do, I'll tell you about last night. Shit, that's right. Her late night visitor. So it, it, it wasn't Renju then, right? Fine. Yay! Date, don't ignore me. I'm sorry, Moma. A clean gang? I'm sorry, Moma. I can't I can't do this for you. Oh, that's just a toy. It's a fake, yeah. Oh, just a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them alone. For we have two places to check. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Let's go. We gotta hurry. We gotta hustle. I wanna go to the warehouse, too, where you found my dead body. Something bothering you? No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. Can we eat somewhere? Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Okay, well. Oh, my chest hurts. You're getting hard to breathe. Okay. You, you dying? I'm gonna sit in the chair. Okay, goodbye. <sighs> See ya. Idiot. Okay, let's hit Sunfish Pocket first. Oh, we, we can go to Matsushita Diner first. I don't think, like, you know, us being a little bit late. Let's food first, you know, otherwise our brain ain't gonna work. 
when I hit when I hit the diner, which is where Ota lives, right? So let's hit the diner really quick. Ah, I'm here. so hungry. T Tessa, why are you here? I told Date I was hungry, so... We visited the one place where we knew Ota was going to be. I've always wanted to eat here. I'll have my usual, Ota. Y yes, right away. Is Ota the cook? The chef? Wait, what am I eating? Ota is the chef. Where, where's your mom? She's in the living room. I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I was just doing some meditation. Lying on the ground. He means sleeping. Yeah, he means sleeping. Date, why are you with Tessa? D T Tessa, okay, hold on, Iris. Stop telling everyone we're on dates, okay? <laughs> we are. D don't say it. Not Shovel Forge. On a date. Fuck. Oh, a date, huh? A date? Huh? <laughs> A date? <laughs> I'm on an investigation, and she wouldn't let me go. <laughs> Date, I have some delicious fugu eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. Would you like some? You don't have a license to prepare fugu, Ota. No thanks. You need a license for that. You're still looking for him? Well, like I told you before, I don't know. Okay, you're gonna cook, huh? Yeah. My dad taught me when I was little. You're that making me G. something too, right? Sure. My treat, Date. <laughs> Kuroda Kazuaki's grilled tongue with salt. Interesting. Salt, Condiments. pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Is it vinegar, soy sauce? Mayumi's juice with mold. Mayumi's juice with mold? Chopsticks, stool. You, you, you can never know with this game. This game always throws Date, you for a loop. you're drooling. I'm sorry. The beer just is oh, so refreshing. I'm just really hungry. Nothing but a window. Oh, that's Payashi Samba's Hayashi Vangole. Who? The fuck? Who? Some celebrity's autograph. Menu's written on the top of the Tonzaku paper. Okay, cool. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Banana phone. Who's on the phone? Who cares? Who cares? You're not gonna pick it up? Come on. Swinging door, cushions, low table, high table. Say hi to the table for me. Kids seat. Look, a chair for baby goats! Uh, Why would anyone bring a goat to a restaurant? Cool. Let's talk to you. Your usual. What's your usual here? Omelette rice. Uh, omelette rice. Ota's omelette rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. Is that a compliment? Uh, I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Well... Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. About Iris's resurrection. Iris, about your coming back to life. Hold it! What do you mean coming back to life? Uh shit. I just I decided to tell Ota about Iris' resurrection. Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. Tessa died? Yeah, she died. Yep. About the parallel, you've been here before? I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but... Mayumi sauce with mold? I don't think she likes me. That's not true. Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. Not yeah. very reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still yeah, doesn't it, like I, I, Either way, you know, it's still a negative. Okay, about the parallel world. Hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Uh, we're jumping some world lines, yeah, and then I put on the helmet, I'm reading Steiner, I well, remember my past. Um, oh, I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. If we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. Wait, so what's the... How does this solve my issue? What if I win? I'll do anything. Uh, anything? Anything? Huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Anything. Why are your fingers like that? What are you doing that for, huh? Date, your heart rate is rapidly increasing. Well, she made the hand. She made the Naruto hand signs. Why exactly is that? All right, let's do this. Okay, let's go. <laughs> He's so shocked. <laughs> He's in fear, in pain. One, two, three, shoot. Who should I throw out? Uh, okay, hold on. I can save. 
<laughs> what she doesn't know is that I can save. Let's let's hit her with it. Ready? What should I throw out? Rock? Always go with the hardy rock Shoot. first. A tie. Okay. The most boring. Okay, okay, okay. Return to top menu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Load game. Recent game at the diner. What? <laughs> I'm not petty, guys, okay? I'm just... I, I don't like losing, okay? I don't really like losing. So we're gonna... Uh, since the opportunity presents itself, we might as well go for the win. Here we go. Satellite radio. Hit it with the uh, paper. Shoot! Okay, here we go. Easy clap emoji. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Date, calm down. You're going to pop a blood vessel. That's not how that works. Aw, I lost, but I made a promise. What do you want me to do? Uh, if it's no trouble, I want to see your... See what? L let me see. I will let me see. kill you if you say it. <laughs> see... Uh, seal. I, I meant seal. Seal? Not the smoothest recovery. We tried. Oh, I get it. You want to see me imitate a seal. Yeah, exactly. No, no. Iris, please. Okay, well, here it goes, I guess. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> he is in physical pain and shock. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Arr, arr, arr. Okay, you can stop now. Tessa, what this are you doing? This is worse than Bible Black. Jesus. We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? You won. And you made me be a seal for some reason. But in a different Stop. timeline, maybe we tied. It's true. We tied the first timeline. Or maybe I got a prize from you. If I had chosen rock or paper... So those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? Mm, maybe, That's perhaps. That's what I think. Huh. I can't believe it, but... Sure you can. Parallel worlds exist. How do you know that? Do you know about the Mandela effect? Or the Booba Kiki effect? Oh yeah, or I do. Or the 100 million balls? 100 million that, balls? Would you believe me? Sounds really interesting, Tessa. Yeah, exactly. I know some urban legends like that. The spatial temporal man, and the lost friend, and the story of two sisters. Oh dude, this guy's going crazy. He'd been reading a lot of... Okay, how are people talking about it? Cool. What is the Booba Kika Dante, Kiki effect? Dante, look at this picture. You just have this on hand? Oh, is this the one where it's like everyone knows that the top one is Booba and the bottom one is Kiki? Even though, like, you know, it's just like based on linguistics that everyone thinks that Kiki is like the spiky sounding word? There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Which one is Booba and which one is Kiki? Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. Yeah. The rounder one is Booba. And the jagged one is Kiki. Of course, because they look like boobs. Isn't that weird? In other words, everyone thinks that booba is a certain way, and Kiki is the other. It applies universally across languages and cultures. <laughs> booba is universal is what it means. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. That doesn't explain parallel worlds, though. Like worshipping the sun and the sea, or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. Cool, man. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. Carl Jung, okay. There exists a second psychic system of a collective, universal, and impersonal nature. Which, that's what Jung said about it. Mm -hmm. Think a of philosopher. it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated. But underground, they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too. More of a genetic field at theory. A subconscious level. <laughs> he just, he's repping his other games. It is in this game. That's the parallel world. Yeah, you saved me in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious mind. So if you follow the roots, you get to another bamboo stalk. I see. Yeah, something like that. I see what you're trying to say now. A this world million balls. is full of really interesting stuff. But you know the most interesting thing of all? No, what? That humans exist at all. That's not true, the actually. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that might not have existed at all. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, 
The probability of human life developing is extremely low, and yet, here we are! Yeah, but there's infinite planets out there, and infinite solar systems. Of course, there's gonna Imagine be one. A box full of ping pong balls. Is that what she's gonna explain here? One to a hundred million. Would you be able to pick out the one? Of course I would. I've fucking heart of the cards. I've destiny draw. Not likely. But what if there were 100 million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. She is describing the anthropic principle. Yeah. I may have underestimated her intelligence. <laughs> me, uh, me and you both, Iba. Mandela effect. Do you know Nelson Mandela? Yep, I oh, do. yeah, the former president of South Africa. <laughs> he helped abolish apartheid. Before he died, quote unquote. He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's the Mandela effect. Everyone thought a certain thing even though it wasn't true. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. There are lots of examples, like the name of this kid's book with Berenstein the bears having bears? different spellings. Berenstain Bears? Or people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. Mmm, messy head in the backseat, just how I like it. But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. Huh, I thought it was a four-seater too. Or that electric mouse from yeah, that shut video up, Deku. game. You p it wasn't? Nope, <laughs> it's all yellow. Oh, wow. And the design didn't change. Oh. Lines from movies, company logos, historical events, and little things. No, I'm your father. The Mandela Effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are from parallel worlds? This line's not entirely true, but go off. That would explain it. They would not explain it. Okay, cool. Is that it? Spatial Temporal Man? Yeah, it's sort of like a common experience. There's like a man everyone sees. A lot of people have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before. And most of them describe seeing the same person. Have you seen this man? The Spatial Temporal Man. He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. The Spatial Temporal Man guides people back to the real world. Interesting. He tells them, this world is not for you. Or something. I'd like to meet him someday. That's kind of sick though. I like that old dream though. I feel like though, so, like, you know... this elementary school kid, let's call him C. Mm -hmm. He goes to school and there's a bunch of things on the floor. Postcards, towels, a coffee cup, rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. Sure. But C realized that those were all things from his own house. Oh, How shit, get to the dude. Classroom? No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose or there was a thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. Interesting. Yeah. Just like the digital world and the real world. I love Digimon. But yeah, so, uh, what I was gonna say is, like, but perhaps that dream, right, it's like, it's more so like, you know, you're told about the dream, and then it happens to you, right? Like, many people probably have never had this dream before, and yet, still, you know, have it. Or so, like, like, or like, heard about it, and then have it later. Or some people may have something similar, and then, th after being explained, they're like, that's pretty close enough, you know? I don't think it's, like, an uncommon dream to, like, uh, uh, you know, be in a, an uninhabited world and then have some figure. Generally, like, guides, like, knowledgeable guides, often people find to be, like, those, like, sagely old men, you know? So, there's this girl. Let's call her B. She's practicing piano in her room. And her little sister is watching TV in the same room. Two sisters. He asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, Just you know? buy an electric piano and plug in some headphones. So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. <laughs> and then she kills her sister. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. She was really gonna let her sister have it. But she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. She got teleported to a different world? She thinks... Huh, I wonder where she went. But then, B hears her sister at the door. I'm home! B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. So B asks, when did you go outside? But her mom says, what are you talking about? She went shopping with me. B is really confused by all of this, of course. Okay. She asks her little sister about it. 
and she learns that her favorite TV show was on. And before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. I see. And yeah. Then we jumped, we and jumped parallel Esau worlds. might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. I see. Okay. Anything else? Lost friend? There's this kid, A. He's in elementary school. Okay. Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. Why did A have a friend named Suzuki? One day, after school, they're walking home together. You just give A a name, then. A turns around to tell Suzuki a joke, and Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's his laughing butt comes and laughing, off. and he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. Just like me and Aiba. What? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. The nerves were still connected, but... Okay. A is, of course, in shock and doesn't know what to do. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps walking like nothing happened. What? So A asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Your eyes fell out. A is really concerned for his friend, you know? Uh, yeah, I agree. But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious, but he's not getting any answers. So they just part ways and go home. Okay. The story only gets weirder from here. The next day, A goes to school, and Suzuki's not there. A is confused and asks his teacher about it. Who, who's Suzuki? Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. Dun 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 dun. A says, what are you talking about? And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. The, the Suzuki died from an herb legend. So basically what happens is if you don't bring the right textbooks to your class, a textbook ghost kills you and then uh, erases your memory from everybody else so no one remembers you. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. So what about the, so what, what about the eyeballs? Hold on. The, the eyeballs Couldn't are the important Suzuki part. Could Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No, A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. Okay. It is weird, and there's no way you can pop your eyeballs back in like that. Well, not necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. True. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. Ota is correct. Dislocated eyes are easy to replace in their socket. But kind of scary though, right? As long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged, there are usually no lasting negative effects. But that doesn't prove this Suzuki exists. Exactly. Well, I guess not. Cool, now, summarize for me. When did you two get so knowledgeable? Oh, I don't know. Tessa is always writing about this stuff on the internet. Ah, oh, I see. That's why I decided to She took to philosophy it 101 and thinks she's That's an expert. That's how I learned all this stuff. Oh, hey, I know about conspiracies and secret societies, too. I find that stuff ah. fascinating. If you want, we could talk about those. Maybe next time. Now, where's that omelet rice? Thank. Please let me eat, please. Done. Thank God. I'm. I'm done with this philosophy lesson. This conspiracy theory lesson. It's. I, I think like a lot of like the, like streaming idols. There's like a, a, a lot of like a, je ne sais quoi. Like, the streaming idols like love talking about like conspiracy stuff. Bon appetit. It happens here too with VTubers. She tries to. Uh, she tried to pick up a spoonful. Huh? She dropped her spoon. Why did she do that? Huh? What happened? Tessa, are you okay? Y you picked up the spoon with the wrong hand. I'm fine. My hand slipped. Let's eat. Okay. I just said I ate the omelet rice in silence. That's not good. Just the sound of a spoon hitting the, the, the plate. The, the diner echoed within. And before long. Uh, thanks for the food! Iris was totally re-energized. Her face was back to her usual smile. That was good. Ota, your omelet rice is seriously the best. It goes to the bathroom and shits it all out. Yeah, it was actually really good. Aw, oh, thanks. I owe it to my dad. What is this expression? He taught me well. <laughs> is he poisoned mine? Pay for the food and stuff to go. Let's get going, Iris. Thanks again. Thank you. Come back soon. They don't look at each other. See in front of me, okay, Ota? All right. 
Next stop is we're gonna hit the menu, the map, and between Sunfish Pocket, Ukume Shrine, and Cold Source Warehouse, we need to hit all three locations tonight. So it was like 5 p.m. when we went to the the, the Kumakura gang. So by now, it can only be like later and later. I gotta hit Sunfish Pocket before they close, because this is also a store. Like a Kume Shrine won't close, right? Cold Storage Warehouse also technically doesn't close. But Sunfish Pocket will close. So we gotta hit there first. But that is gonna be saved for next time when we pick it back up again uh, at a later date. We're gonna hit the save button. Yeah, we're gonna leave it at the, at the cliffhanger once again. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It just works out that way that every hour is a cliffhanger, right? Let's go to the top menu. I'm very excited to keep going. This is a very, very cool, interesting game. And I think we're learn- Uch Okay, Uchikoshi never puts anything in his games for- I say his games even though it's like a big, big collaborative group effort. He's usually like the writer, scenario writer, so the story stuff is like mainly his. Um, he doesn't put anything in his games that like is unnecessary. There is some reasoning for it. And so if the characters are talking about parallel worlds, then it is probably something to consider. For instance, in his Zero Escape series, well, 999, you know, VLR, Zero Escape 3, um, there's a lot of talk about uh, morphogenetic fields, which is related to like the Mandela effect and all this stuff. So, and there's, it also deals with like parallel world lines and stuff like that. So it, it, it all connects. He, he loves playing with this like parallel world theory, like time travel, like world jump, et cetera, et cetera, kind of stuff. It, you know, it, it's all very prevalent in all of his titles, so it's very interesting to see again. It's it's a breath of like you know familiar air, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> I gotta go back to like the one part where like Dante and I were just saying the same shit like over and over again, because that shit was fucking wild. Okay, but uh, I'm not gonna take any more of your time today. Thank you for dropping by today. I really appreciate you for for watching the whole video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and a comment. So I know your feedback, and uh, if you want to see Nick's new videos, please do follow up on YouTube with the subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, you can join the Discord, which will be linked down below, uh, and you'll be paying for everything. So if you want to join the live streams, which happen Wednesday th to Sunday, uh, or you want to see my Twitter stuff, because I do have a, a new model on the way, or you just want to be notified by any videos, tweets, etc., all going to be on the Discord. Discord's like the, the ping hub, you know? Anyway, 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 thank you for chilling me, guys. I really appreciate you. Uh, until next time, please drink some water, eat some butter, make sure you don't get uh, Suzuki'd out of this world, and we'll see you guys next time, okay? So peace. Peace be peace. Late.